Hello. Uh, the first thing that we do is to identify the horse against his passport with his microchip number and also check that the uh, ID of the horse is the same as the passport and at the same time uh, we see when he was last vaccinated or any other relevant information in the passport. Uh, I then listen to the horse's heart and lungs in a quiet space uh, and I then take him out somewhere where I can see him well in good light and palpate the whole body uh, so that I feel with my fingers and look with my eyes over every single area of the skin uh, to see that I'm happy that there are no abnormalities. I then start with the head, having done that, and feel the ears, both the inside and to the depths of the ears. I percuss the sinuses. I examine the horse's mouth, check for tushes and wolf teeth and the correct bite. And I make sure that the horse has no scars associated with any uh, wind surgery. I then make sure that both jugular veins are patent uh, and palpate down the horse's neck, horse's brisket, uh, to see if there are any abnormalities there. I then check the ventral midline to make sure there are no scars, uh, palpate the sheath or the udders to make sure they're clean uh, and no abnormality there. And by that time, I've got a pretty good idea as to whether or not the horse is easy to handle. Then we see the horse outside um, in a straight line, both circles, flexion tests on all limbs. It's particularly important in my view that the horse is trotted in a circle on a hard surface. I do not under any circumstances lunge them on a hard surface. I think that's dangerous. The horse then goes out and is exercised as per the uh, conditions under which the purchaser wishes to use him. He's then rested for half an hour. I examine the mouth, the back and the eyes in a dark box and then trot him up again and repeat the aforementioned exercises and check his feet. We then blood test the horse for non-normal nutrients with the permission of the vendor and also ask the vendor to sign a disclaimer with regard to vice, drugs, uh, etc.